Hello everyone, Imperial Guardian here. So today we're playing as France. I'm gonna show you guys how that is the fastest way to flip ideology into fascist without causing a civil war. That way you could start a fascist gameplay as France early on. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So so first you're gonna grab is pretty much production and construction tools to progress constructing military factories and civilian factories for later wars but we're going to start off just building some civilian factories and then everything else was switched to military now i should just get rid of tanks motorized keep the basics which i'll throw on four and then two and then two so now snow focus wise you're going to want to do revive the national block and then military wise you're just gonna get all your units in one massive army group and just pull them and do a, a fallback line into mainland France. Let's go ahead and get it going. So you do start off with some negative modifiers with low, uh, with negative population and then destroying government, political violence. Now while we wait, you could go ahead and grab all your navy just for future use and then bring them home. That way you can reorganize your fleet and send it out whenever you need to. And then same thing with your, your air force. All right, so let's go ahead and check our production real quick. We are minus 45 on artillery. The tanks, I really, really wouldn't worry about the tanks. You can honestly just grab them and hit consolidate. That way, you're only going to lose one. The Rhineland just issued a mag objection. Now, the next focus we're going to grab is going to be the utilize the leagues. That way, you could go ahead and start building up fastest support. Now, so we just got this event called Communist in the Government. Now, you can go communist or you can just side with democracy. Here's the thing. You're going to want to stick with communism. Because later, when you do the national focus, ban communism, all the communist support in your government will go 50 to the democracy. Uh, it's actually, it's, it's split up between the other political parties which is democracy non-aligned and fascist so the more communist support you have the easier it is just to switch the faster it is so right now we just did that that decision so well that event so now right now we're sitting at 30 percent communist support we have zero percent fascist support but that's about to change we have 50 percent uh democratic and 13 percent unaligned so utilize the league is complete so we're going to work our way down this chunk of the, the national focuses. We're going to do agricultural protectionism, which is going to give us faster civilian construction speed. And then we're going to jump down to protect the rights of men. And then we're going to grab the freedom front. So our construction is complete. We're going to go ahead and grab the next construction. All right, so we just completed the agricultural protectionism. We're just going to wait. We're going to bank some political power quick because we're going to want to grab the fastest demagogue because as of the French, you do get disjoined governments government which gives you a 0.80 political power negative modifier all right so we did just get our 150 political power so we're going to grab our fast demigod says the protest of dissident violence you're going to grab the negative modifier against uh prosecute those responsible is negative 50 political power but right now you don't want to lose that stability quite yet uh, so go ahead and just grab the negative modifier for political power. And then we're going to go ahead and select our next national focus, which will be the rights of men. So the protect the rights of men is complete. So we're going to jump down and we're going to grab the uh, freedom front. And then we're going to jump up and ban communism. Pretty much whenever you do the freedom front, you're taking 15 point, well right now it's 15.50 percent of the dem democracy support popularity and moving into fascism. When you do the ban communism, it splits all of the communists in between the three political parties. So with that, you're dropping this one down around 30 something percent. At that point, the rest of the communist support is going to be split up between the three, which is going to be almost enough to just do the next focus towards the fascist, which is the national regionalization. So right now we are still just minus a little bit over 3,000 guns. We are stabilized with the tanks because we did consolidate our tank units. Motorized, we have plus one, and then support equipment and artillery. We are 
slowly building up a nice stockpile. So construction's done. You could do either one of these if you want to at this point, but I'm gonna go ahead and jump over to support equipment. Go ahead and start working on those. Build up our military for future. All right, Freedom Front has about seven days left. National focus is complete. This one's gonna ask you uh, pretty much the same thing, negative 5% or add, it adds 2.5. Or is it going to be minus political power? Now, this one, you did just receive five stability. You just want to go ahead and just get that five stability away, give it to the communist. You're going to jump back in. You're going to jump over to the banned communism. Yes, it's going to give you minus 7%. You're just going to be breaking even. All right, so then the research of the improved machine tools is complete. So we're going to jump over and upgrade our artillery. Now, the Spain requests his aid. Now, you can either... They could rely on us, which gives you 10% communism, and then uh, you minus his 50 political power, or you could just say no. You just minus his 50 political power and just give him, that way you have more communist support to split, uh, you can. We we are not, because right now we are sitting pretty, pretty one-third fascist, so all we need is a total of 50% between the two, which is not going to risk it, save our political power. Disperse 2 is complete, so we're going to switch over to our upgraded fighter so we can start production. So the band communism support is complete. It's not all the way gone yet, but it is minusing where it's splitting up between the others. We only need about 2 more percent between the, the fascists and the non-line. So we're just going to wait it out, build up some political power. Alright, we're at 51, so we should be able to do the national recognition. Now, once this focus is complete, you're going to become fascist. Fascist is going to take over, they're going to be able to become the ruling party. Out of these ones, the first one you want to grab is political unity. It takes away the disjointed government and it takes away all the non-aligned and just gives straight fascist support. And then you could pick one of these, war support, stability, or growth. And then you can also do this one that gives minus democracy support, which is it's going to do the interwar artillery it is complete so we're going to jump over also just go ahead and get, get this other improved infantry equipment so as you see after we did we did complete the bank communist right now we we swelled up to over 60 percent of split between non-aligned and fascist all right so we've got two days left one day the focus is complete as you can see our flag has changed we are now fascist it is june 30th 1937 and at this point said political unity would be the best that way you do get that negative modifier off of your political power and you can start banking more political power uh if you want to rush for war goals you just jump down you can deal with belgium grow the empire and just go straight for quebec go war against the allies i suggest political unity is the first ne next one now you could also do all of these secure belgium while you can and then jump over and just jump over here focus on the industry over here, you do lose five stability, you do get it back, you get extra research spots, you get to develop your foreign territories, and also, you this right here explains your manpower, so it expands it. So you, you get more cores, which builds manpower, gives you extent, expanded citizenship, and then you get to remove full employment, or you could go down non-core manpower, gives you more compliance, and then you get the French Union. So that's it, guys. That's how the fastest way to become fastest as France. Now, right now, our stockpiles are looking pretty green, pretty even across the board. Our construction, right now we are about to finish top over thir uh, 32 factories. Still building civilians. This is completely preference. I was not going to build this many civilians. This is just a rough number I like getting. And I like building civilians as many as I can up until 1938. Once 1938 hits, I focus only on military factories. And then I focus on taking Belgium, build, focus on internally, and then eventually taking over the United Kingdom. Uh, I would recommend getting the United Kingdom out of the way before 1939 at the latest. Take them out. It's super easy. Do the naval invasion trick. Resets wise, we are almost done with 1936 fighter. Uh, we are finishing both infantry equipments. Our industry is fully caught up. You can still got to do the radio for reinforce rate. Artillery's caught up. Tanks are caught up. All right, that's it. Thank you guys for so much for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a like. If you think I could do better or have any suggestions, please leave a comment. Um, I did have a big gap between my previous video and this video. It's be solely because I was having so many technical difficulties. I did manage to get back up, and then within a few days of trying to record, it went back down because 
for some reason it triggered a normal activity on my Microsoft account which blocked all my stuff again did get it finally sorted out completely so I will be posting weekly uh, I did lose my save videos from my original Soviet Union playthrough against the Germans uh, not a lot of people really like that if you do want to see that please leave a comment let me know if you don't I probably won't go back to it because I will have to start all the way from scratch which I do not mind if somebody wants to see it anyways thank you guys for watching y'all have a blessed week